everyone this is durgesh from informatica gcs today i am going to explain you about uh, ddm sql developer connect configuration to connect hive server to so basically uh, from ddm uh, we can configure uh, to connect hive server to using generic jdbc connection and uh, the client uh, which can be used uh, is any uh, jdbc client uh, so for example, SQL Developer, Aqua Data Studio, and Squirrel. So, in this demo, I will be showing you uh, the steps to configure any uh, client to connect to Hive Server 2 with DDM. So, basically, um, first uh, we need to uh, add the JAR files in the any uh, client, the DB client, uh, which uh, can allow a client db client to connect to hive server 2 so uh, like in sql developer we need to add third party uh, jar files uh, so that uh, you can see the uh, configuration for hive server 2 and the second thing is uh, we in ddm we have a generic jdbc dot jar file uh, which is a wrapper uh, between uh, db client request which is going via DDM to the Hive Server 2. So uh, this uh, jdbc.jar file has to be placed in uh, any of the client uh, DB client which we are using to connect to Hive Server 2 with DDM. So uh, in the DB client location, we have to place this jar file. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, currently in this demo, I will be showing you for regarding the SQL developer uh, client. So uh, we need to edit the SQL developer con file with the DDM details in it and also need to add uh, the particular java agent which can uh, uh, java agent in the sense the path of the generic jdbc.jar file so that when the request comes from the db client it has to uh, con redirect to, to the ddm using generic jdbc.jar file so uh, let's see the configuration steps and the detailed uh, connectivity from SQL Developer to Hive Server 2. So here I have configured uh, DDM for Hive Server 2 uh, using generic jet database uh, type connectivity. So um, after providing all the driver details and connection string uh, and username and password, uh, first need to check the uh, test connection that is able to connect to Hive Server 2. And see, so it's validated now. Now uh, let me uh, show you the generic JDBC uh, wrapper file which is present in DDM installation directory uh, which you have to place into the client uh, which is trying to connect to Hive Server 2 with DDM. So uh, this is my DDM 981 uh, installation directory and uh, you can see there is a directory called wrappers. So first you have to go into these wrappers. Uh, there are there will be three directory ODBC, JDBC and intersection rules. So uh, since uh, we are using generic JDBC uh, connectivity for high server 2 so uh, let's go to the jdbc here you can see uh, there's a generic jdbc dot jar file this is a wrapper for any of the request uh, coming from db client to be redirected to ddm and to the high server 2 so this jar file has to be placed in the um, uh, sql developer uh, client uh, location so let me just uh, show you that um, so this is my sql developer uh, uh, current location and uh, you can we have to go to the SQL developer and there will be seeing a bin directory uh, where we have to edit the uh, DDM uh, wrapper details but before that uh, we need to place the library files under the uh, library directory of SQL developer so as you can see this generic jdbc.jar file has been placed here under the lib directory of SQL developer so once you place this um, uh, generic jdbc.jar file, we need to now uh, add this entry of this jar file into the SQL developer config file, so that when the request comes to the from the client, uh, it has to be redirected to the DDM before going to the Hive server too. So uh, now we are in the SQL developer bin directory, and you can see there's a SQL developer config file. So let me just open this and show you the entries what has to be added here so that uh, uh, you uh, you can um, follow the same and configure the DDM 
depending to high server queue. Uh, so this is a Sql developer compile, and uh, here you can see at the end we have added uh, a few details uh, regarding uh, Sql developer handling uh, to DDM. So here I have added a VM parameter, a JVM parameter, uh, which is nothing but the Java agent, which is the wrapper file which has to be uh, used while we connect into the uh, high server too. So here I have provided the uh, path of the generic JDBC.jar file and uh, lib path and uh, here uh, this host is the DDM server where it is being running and uh, uh, this is the generic JDBC uh, service port which we have uh, configured in DDM. Uh, so this is my DDM server host and this is the port which is running uh, in DDM, the generic JDBC service port. So this has to be, this entry has to be added in the SQL developer config uh, before trying to uh, create a connection. So uh, once you add this uh, and uh, once you add the generic JDBC jar file under the lib directory, uh, so we are done with the configuration steps for uh, connecting the high server to using SQL developer client. So let me show you now the connectivity from SQL developer client. So uh, this is our, uh, uh, this is here I have uh, created a connection called high server and uh, let me show you the properties of this. So here you can see um, uh, the basic details have been provided and uh, the major important point to be um, uh, keep in mind while creating connection for, and for many other clients is uh, since we have already provided a wrapper in the uh, SQL developer client location so while configure a connection from SQL developer we need not to uh, provide any DDM uh, uh, address or hostname information uh, whatever the configuration what we are creating here is, has to be created to connect to the directly to the database. So uh, currently, the host name what I have given here is my high server to uh, host name and not the DDM host name. Similarly, the port is also the high server to uh, port and not the DDM port and the default database information. So uh, let's, I mean, when we check the testing, uh, test connection on this, uh, as you can see, it's success. So uh, this is uh, nothing but it is going uh, through uh, DDM. Uh, we can uh, check the data on cities. So uh, let me show you the data for this, uh, which is being passed through VDM, and you can see the masked output here. So uh, here uh, I have a uh, demo hype table in this, and when I query uh, this particular table, as you can see, it's a, a masked output will be seen. So this the query is being directed uh, from the uh, DDM. Uh, and let, let me show you the original values here. So when I uh, run this, you can see um, it's the original uh, value of the uh, table. So, so this is the uh, procedure to uh, and or configuration details to configure SQL Developer Client to connect to the DDM for High Server Two. So uh, we have covered the configuration steps required to connect to SQL Developer Client. So for more details, you can refer uh, DDM Administration Guide. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I would love to hear feedback on this video. So you can provide me uh, your feedback uh, on uh, support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet to our Twitter account for support. Thank you.